In today's show, the Bitcoin price inches closer to $30,000, reaching new all-time highs, touching $28,500. I'll be giving you the latest analysis here in today's show. Michael Van Day Pop wrote, Bitcoin broke the crucial trigger between $27,000 and $27,500 and continued its rally towards a new all-time high. If $27,000 to $27,500 sustains support, continuation is likely towards $30,000 and perhaps $32,800. Losing $27,000 and correction is imminent. I'll be breaking this down for you in today's show. Also breaking news, Skybridge Capital has already invested $182 million in Bitcoin. They recently revealed they did this back in January and it doesn't stop there. Check this out. Miami's mayor is open to explore investing 1% of the city's treasury reserves into the king of all crypto. That's right. I'll be giving you all the highlights here in today's show. And last night when Bitcoin started pumping, I posted this new Bitcoin all-time high incoming, and Max Kaiser responded, I can feel it down in my plums, and he was right because we reached a new all-time high. And checking out his latest prediction he wrote a couple of days ago, $28,000 target from two years ago hit. Next short-term target is my hash rate adjusted price of $35,000, which I made last year when the Bitcoin hash rate was hitting a new all-time high. And he continued, yesterday, my short-term $35,000 target is in play. This is the equilibrium price based on the price lagging hash rate spread that I flagged last year. Now that 28,000 has been confirmed, 35,000 target looks like a lock. And also want to point out that the Bitcoin hash rate adjustment is due in just another 13 days. Also in today's show, we'll be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin is breaking out up about 4.5% for the day. Most of the major altcoins are back in the red. But where's the Bitcoin price likely to go from here? Find out all this plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. So be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right. And turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And before I kick off today's show, if interested in trading Bitcoin or Ethereum, be sure to check out the Bybit Exchange. I have a referral affiliate link right down below. And if you use it to register and deposit 0.2 BTC, you will receive a $100 free trading bonus, absolutely free as a gift you can put towards your trading. And if you're going to trade, please do so responsibly and only risk what you're willing to lose. All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV. We have a lot to discuss today, so let's dive right in, shall we? Bitcoin returned to hidden record highs today on December 30th, touching about 28,000. 500. That's right. And a strong resurgence overnight. Bitcoin confirmed it had no time for bears after briefly dipping as low as $25,830 over the past 24 hours. Now daily gains were at 7.5% at press time, taking Bitcoin to about $28,000. $560, as you can see right here on your screen. Now, the move brings Bitcoin even closer to sealing $30,000 as a new psychological level before the end of the year, something that seemed all but impossible just one week ago, as Cointelegraph reported. However, analysts still believe that a reversal could take the largest crypto down to existing support at $19,500 on Tuesday. Cointelegraph markets analyst Michael Van Day Pop nonetheless highlighted $27,500 as a critical area to break in order to pave the way for new all-time highs. He just shared this the other day. Well, a lower time frame chart analysis on the recent movements of Bitcoin. The downtrend for now, crucial breaker at 27,000 to 27,500. If that breaks, new all-time highs. And lo and behold, we broke it and we're experiencing new all-time highs. So shout out to Michael Van Day Pop. He also tweeted this morning, Bitcoin broke the crucial trigger between 27 and 27,500 and continued its rally towards a new all-time high. If 27,000 to 27,005 sustains support, continuation is likely towards $30,000 and perhaps $32,800. Losing $27,000 and correction is imminent. Now, Ethereum is also leading price gains for the altcoins. The knock-on impact among major cap altcoins was clearly felt, with Ethereum nearing $740 after rising 5.5% on the day. How many of you are bullish on Ethereum? Let me know in the comments below. We also have Polkadot, which added existing strength to see a weekly performance approach of 50%. And as before, the exception was XRP, which maintained 10% daily losses as continued delistings by major exchanges further weighed on the sentiment. That's right, we recently had OKCoin, OK 
Coinbase as well as Crypto.com announced delisting or halting trading of XRP. And as of this morning, Bitrex joined the bandwagon. However, the trouble coin nonetheless managed to reclaim 20 cents. And before I break down these breaking stories of the day, Skybridge Capital reveals it had already invested $182 million in Bitcoin back in January. And Miami's mayor is open to explore investing 1% of the city's treasury reserves into the king of all crypto. But let's first take a look at the overall crypto market. We can see Bitcoin up 4.8%, trading above $27,800. Do you feel we'll break out to a new all-time high once again, surpassing $28,500? Let me know in the comments right down below. We have Ethereum down 0.32%, trading at $726 after touching about $740 just the other day. We have Polkadot up 10%, trading at $7.25. We have XRP up 10%, trading just below $0.22. Cents. Miss Litecoin in the red. Red, Cardano in the blood red as well, trading at 18. 0.1 cents and chain link down about two and a half percent trading at eleven dollars and forty three cents all right now for some of the highlights with this breaking story skybridge capital has already invested 182 million dollars into bitcoin back in january here's some of the highlights anthony scaramucci's skybridge appears to be making a big bet on bitcoin according to an investor deck obtained by the block the firm has already invested as much as 182 million into bitcoin on behalf of its funds and the deck says the firm has invested more than $25 million for new Bitcoin investment fund that went live in December. Talk about massive institutional demand. Welcome Skybridge to the Bitcoin revolution. Also breaking news, Miami's mayor is open to explore investing 1% of the city's treasury reserves into Bitcoin. That's right. Now this is a pretty big deal in of itself because many other cities may follow and what would stop them from upping it from 1% to 5% or 10% once they start to see these impressive gains. So yeah, an interesting twist of events. The mayor of Miami, Francis Suarez, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, has said that he's open to to exploring the idea of putting 1% of the city's treasury reserves into Bitcoin. Earlier today, well-known Bitcoin permabull and proponent, Anthony Pomp Pompliano, came up with an interesting tweet. He urged his followers to retweet if they would move to Miami if the mayor, Francis Suarez, put 1% of the city's treasury reserves into Bitcoin. And less than an hour later, the tweet was shared 1,200 times. And more interestingly, it caught the attention of Mayor Suarez himself. Responding to Pomp's tweet, he said that he is definitely open to exploring it. Let's check out the tweet right here. Retweet this if you would move to Miami. If the mayor, Francis Suarez, put 1% of the city's treasury reserves in Bitcoin. And here's his response right here. You can see with the blue check, definitely open to exploring it. And Charlie Shrem added here, why just Miami? Let's get the whole state to be more Bitcoin friendly. We need a Florida and Miami sponsored crypto event and the world will come. Touche. And before I break down these latest tweets from Max Kaiser, as well as his short-term Bitcoin price prediction, first, let's take a look at the overall crypto market cap, sitting at a whopping $737 billion, with $204 billion in volume in the past 24 hours, and Bitcoin dominance back above 70%, according to CoinMarketCap. Now, checking out the top gainers within the top 100, we have Polkadot, up 8%, trading at $7.24. XRP, witnessed a nice bounce, up 10.5%, trading at $21.7. cents. We have Cosmos, up 6.8%, trading at $5.61 and Icon up 7.5%, trading at 47.7 cents. Now checking out the biggest losers within the top 100. We have Chainlink down about 4%, trading at $11.44. We have Stellar Lumens down 2.6%, trading at 13.3 cents. Quant down 8%, trading at $11.52. And Zcash down 3.8%, trading at $63.86. Now out of this list of the biggest gainers and losers, which altcoins in particular are you most bullish on? Drop me a comment right down below. Now checking out one of my favorite indicators is the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. Shows we're currently rated a 91 in Extreme Greed. Yesterday a 91, last week a 93, and last month an 88, all of which is within Extreme Greed. And if you're not familiar with the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, Extreme Fear can be a sign investors are too worried. That can be a great buying opportunity, aka BTFD, buy that freaking dip. And when investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due 
for a correction. Now checking out the latest tweets from Max Kaiser. I actually tweeted this last night when Bitcoin started breaking out, hit 27,776. So I wrote, new Bitcoin, all time high. Incoming, Max responded with this meme, I can feel it down in my plums. That's right, and just a few days ago he wrote, $28,000 target from two years ago hit. That's a fact. Next short term target is my hash rate adjusted price of $35,000, which I made last year when the Bitcoin hash rate was hitting a new all time high. And he continued yesterday, my short term $35,000 target is in play. This is the equilibrium price based on the price lagging hash rate spread that I flagged last year. Now that 28,000 has been confirmed, 35,000 target looks like a lock. That's right, and before I break down this latest story with Max Kaiser predicting his short-term Bitcoin target at $35,000 as the Bitcoin hash rate adjustment is due in the next 13 days, first, I wanna remind you to smash that show more button right below the video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the market. This goes for all 640 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. Also some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including the blog to my podcast, which could be found at cryptonewsyes.com. Also be sure to smash that subscribe button right below this video in the description to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. You can also find me on all the major podcasts and platforms from Spotify, the home of the Joe Rogan experience, to Apple's iTunes. You can also follow me on Twitter to receive daily crypto news alerts. My Twitter handle is crypto news. Yes, and for those of you active on Facebook, I do have a private crypto Facebook group entitled Crypto Alchemy. To join it, click this link, request to join. I'll be sure to plug you in. And for those of you active on Telegram, I do have a private crypto Telegram chat, which is uncensored. To join it, which I highly recommend you do, click this link, you'll automatically be added. And I'm looking forward to connecting with you personally on the inside. All right, now let's break down our final story of the day, shall we? After hitting a new all-time high of over $28,000 on Sunday, as Max Kaiser has has been predicting for the previous three years before any significant pullback, which we witnessed temporarily of about $1,900. We broke down and then we're climbing right back and Bitcoin market cap also surpassed $500 billion more recently for the first time in history. Bitcoin analyst Max Kaiser, who is popular for predicting the Bitcoin price based on its hash rate, noted that BTC can touch $35,000 in a short term based on the hash rate adjustments. I already shared with you these tweets. And he also points out he's going to be revealing his Bitcoin target for 2021 with Daniela Cambone of Stansbury Research. As soon as he reveals it, I'll be sharing it with you right here on the show. Now, as per data on BTC.com, the next Bitcoin hash rate adjustment will happen 13 days from now. Probably we can see BTC price surging another 30 to 40% from the current levels as per Max Kaiser's predictions. So there you have it. Expect another rise of 30 to 40% percent when we see Bitcoin price surging as a result of the next hash rate adjustment within the next couple of weeks. Now, currently the Bitcoin hash rate is at 132.91 terahashes per second. Since November 2020, the Bitcoin hash rate has surged nearly 30% so far, as you can see right here on your screen. Now, the hash rate is defined as the computational power required to unlock new blocks in the Bitcoin blockchain network. The rising hash rate usually hints at rising mining activity since more miners compete to put new Bitcoin into circulation. Circulation. Several Bitcoin analysts say that the increase in mining difficulty and the increase in hash rate is a bullish indicator for the Bitcoin price. If we see the Bitcoin price has been moving quite in tune with the hash rate surge since November, while the latest Bitcoin price action has already been a massive bull run, analysts expect that there's more steam left in this rally. Bitcoin has been close to registering its longest monthly winning streak since mid 2019. And hopefully this continues further over the next couple of days before the end of 2020 as New Year's Eve is officially tomorrow. And earlier this month, we have seen minor price corrections getting quickly absorbed with whales making massive purchases. So there you have it. All right. Now for a quick recap, of what I cover with you right here in today's show, the Bitcoin price inches closer to $30,000 with new all time highs touching $28,500. And as Michael Vande Pop points out, Bitcoin broke the crucial trigger between 27 and 27,500 and continued its rally towards a new all time high. If 27 to 27,5 sustained support, continuation is likely towards $30,000 and perhaps 32,800, losing 27,000 and correction is 
imminent. So there you have it. Also in today's show, I shared that Skybridge Capital revealed it has already invested $182 million into Bitcoin back in January, and Miami's mayor is open to explore investing 1% of the city's treasury reserves into the king of all crypto. And as Max Kaiser pointed out, $28,000 target from two years ago has been hit. Next short-term target is my hash rate adjusted price of $35,000, which I made last year when the Bitcoin hash rate was hitting a new all-time high. That's right. His short-term target is $35,000, which he says is in play. Now that $28,000 has been confirmed, $35,000 target looks like a lock. Also in today's show, I shared that the Bitcoin hash rate adjustment is due in just 13 days, which could take the Bitcoin price to as high as $35,000. So where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go next? Drop me a comment right down below. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto matrix. If you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right. And turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And real quick before I go, if interested in trading Ethereum or Bitcoin, be sure to check out the Bybit exchange. I have my referral affiliate link right down below the video in the description. And when you use it to register and deposit 0.2 BTC, you will receive a $100 free trading bonus, which you could put towards your trades. All I ask, if you're going to trade, please do so responsibly and only risk what you're willing to lose. So go ahead and do that right now. And I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.